These are the sorts of courses that we do for film and media. There's the basic film studies. There's the basic straightforward media studies. But as you can see, there are some combinations that are offered as well. Film and media studies, writing with film studies, drama with film studies. You need to be sure that you've looked at the possibilities for all of those courses uh, to see which ones might be most suitable for you. What we have are a combination of theory and practice. The practice is very important in the sense that we emphasize it has to be critical practice. What does that mean? It means that you need to look at the pieces of work that you've made. You need to be able to stand back from those pieces of work. You need to be able to look at them with a critical eye, evaluate them, see why you've done particular things with your, with your practice, and look to the theory to explain why you've done certain things. So it's that combination that's critically important. What we're looking is beyond university, beyond the course. And so we're looking to the ways in which what you do here can have an outside life, either as being shown or screened outside, or as leading towards a work experience and job opportunity, whatever it might be. Every university you go to, hopefully, will say that they aim to nurture and support you as individuals. It's for you to look around, look at the various opportunities in universities, and decide. But we definitely think that that's what we try to do here. You can see how this is divided for film studies, how there's the theory modules and the practice modules that you will take in the first year of your study. You can see that there's a similar pattern in media studies, that again, we've got theory modules and we have the practice modules. What are you gonna be doing when you're here? What's your time gonna be filled with? Well, to begin with, you're gonna have a certain amount of time tabling, hours when you have to be or you should be, and attendance is really important for you. Get that straight from the beginning, you need to be attending these eight to 10 hours a week, whether they're lectures or seminars. And you need to be taking part in those seminars. You need to be coming fully prepared and ready to discuss things. But eight to 10 hours is not many hours. What do you do with the rest of your time? You have a personal tutor who you can make contact with and who you should keep in close contact with who can advise you about all sorts of things that you may be having difficulties with. Then you've still got acres of space in the week. What we're saying is you should be independent learners. You should be able to begin to take your learning beyond the seminars, beyond the lectures, and out into the library in particular, to further reading, to further studying, to online possibilities of your own that you look at, to beginning to look at the assignments and deciding how you're going to tackle those. There's all sorts of work to be done. So again, we're at that position where you as an individual become critically important and you have to take part in the courses, fully engage with them and become these independent learners. We're gonna be assessing you, obviously, and there are certain pattern attached to this. There are no exams for either media studies, film studies, or any of the combinations that we've looked at. You will have to be able to write critical essays. You will have your practice work. For each piece that is a practical piece of work, if it's a small short film that you've made perhaps, you're gonna to have to be able to critically evaluate it, write a commentary about it that explains how you've done things, why you've done things in particular ways. Maybe you'll have to do presentations in front of a group. You'll have to stand in front of the group and present. Clearly, we don't expect you to do that on your own immediately. General practice is that in the first year, you will take part as one amongst a group of people and you'll do a presentation. In the second year, maybe in pairs so that you've got some support. And by the third year, we hope that you're somebody who can go out, apply for jobs, go to interviews, stand on your own feet, and therefore we expect you to be able to present to a group on your own. So we're moving towards that as a possibility. Maybe you need to show that you've been to all of the lectures, that you've thought about what's being said in those lectures. So possibly 
we will ask you to do a lecture diary at some stage. We will also be looking for you, as I've emphasized all the way through, to become people who are employable. And in order to do that, you need to be able to put together a portfolio of work that you've done. You need to have something to show to employers what should happen over the three years as you develop to build that portfolio, to create something that is going to put you ahead of the game when you come to employment. In the second year, we offer the possibility of you going abroad to study. There are at least uh, these opportunities, and maybe there'll be some more coming on stream soon, but in continental Europe, Denmark, Spain, and in the United States, there are colleges that we have close links with where you can spend one semester from your second year working there, taking modules that will be comparable to the ones you would have taken in this country at Anglia Ruskin. You'll have heard about the National Student Survey probably. These, for what it's worth, are the ratings that students have given to each of those courses that I've spoken about. You can see the range is around 80 to 90% of overall satisfaction with the courses. We've also mentioned the importance of the staff here. And what we have are practitioners, that's people that make films of their own in particular, but we also have people uh, who write academic books. And these are some of those books that have been written. What you can see in the background behind this is an installation, an art installation, a film installation. And uh, we have staff who take part in the writing of academic books, but also those who take part in practice themselves. The theory is covered with the academic books. The practical work tends to be covered by those people who are themselves practitioners. We emphasize, of course, the importance of links with organizations outside of the university, as I've already said. And these are a series of the possibilities for you things that you can become involved in, film festivals, for example, and we try to get speakers to come in to talk to you. We emphasize the importance of work placements, and these are some of the work placements that have been done by film studies students and by media studies students. You can see that there's a huge range of possibilities there, and often people will say, well, what are the work possibilities? What are the employment possibilities for me after I graduate? And I'm left in the position of saying there are so many possibilities, such a range of possibilities, from newspapers and writing in newspapers to curating and working within film festivals, magazines. You can see the sorts of possibilities that are there, and I'll refer to some students in a minute. Here again, these are some of the possibilities. By no means all of the possibilities for things you could do after graduation. You could take your study further. You could want to begin to do teaching. You could want to become a journalist. You could want to work in the industry of filmmaking itself. All sorts of possibilities. And what should happen over the three years as you build your portfolio, as you look at various modules, as you try various practical possibilities and theoretical possibilities, is that you begin to find what suits you, what you're really interested in. It's unlikely that in your first year, you're going to be sure of this. You may have some ideas, but those ideas will change and will develop and will become clearer to you during the three years of your study. Alex, freelance cameraman. He's had the opportunity to practice at Angley Ruskin, and he's gone on to do the things that you can see here, including drama work with ITV. Denise much more interested in theoretical stuff, but also practical. She has had her own video installations. She's presented her own pieces of film that she's made. But she's also become a teacher. She's also worked on some of our modules here at Anglia Ruskin in a teaching capacity. Josh here studied with us some time ago. He's become a writer. His combination was film and writing, and he's worked for magazines, but he's also already published a novel. Ingrid, media studies student, has moved to working in 
human resources. But she also went on to study further and to take an MPhil. She's from Norway. We get students from a range of different places. Matt, another media studies student, has gone into teaching, has gone to primary school teaching. So what you can see is a full range of possibilities. Dan, here, made this film, Eight Bells, which was a stunning piece of work, we thought, when he was working here with us at Anglia. And he's gone on to work in the industry and to spend time working on pieces of work such as uh, those by Ridley Scott. If you have further questions, then obviously you need to make sure that you contact somebody at Anglia Ruskin. These people will get back into contact with you, will return your emails, will be willing to talk to you on the phone, will be willing to have you into the university to discuss things and to show you around if you want to do that. Lastly, with these two guys, they are uh, two of our students from this year who went to the Cannes Festival. And there they are dressed up at the Cannes Festival. They won a competition. They had to write a piece, uh, a critical piece, that was then judged by a manager from the local cinema. And then they went to the Cannes Festival and uh, wrote pieces of journalism as a result of that. So the possibilities are endless for you. We think we offer uh, a series of uh, very sound modules that enable you to fulfill all the sorts of possibilities that may be required when you leave Anglia Ruskin. And we very much look at this as an ongoing project that you are involved in and that we are involved in, in moving you towards a position where you become somebody who can go out into the wider world with confidence 